I'm William Briggs. Uh, my family was active duty military. I was born in Texas, but I've lived in four or five states. Uh, and I've lived in Italy the longest out of my 20 years of being alive, almost 21. I'm studying film. One of my friends who's studying archaeology here actually reached out to me and said that there was a film study program here, uh, and I applied. I'm very much enjoying being at AUR so far. I've only been here for a semester and a half, but so far I feel like I'm doing more at AUR than I was on that online school. Um, it, there's just more to do in general, uh, more clubs, more activities, more events going on through the AUR community and just more things to do around town. Outside of the film classes, which are obviously my favorite, um, I'm really enjoying my editing classes specifically in terms of film. I think that they're really well structured in terms of their like classwork. Um, I've really enjoyed a lot of like the writing from theory class, the film theory class, uh, our visual culture class touches on some theories and I just, I'm a really big like theory paper person. So I've, I've enjoyed learning more about those sorts of things. I've had to talk to a lot of people who already have connections here. They've already started working on projects uh, for people that are in the local community, or they've already got these huge networking systems set up through AUR, which just coming here, I didn't, I didn't have that, obviously. Um, and so I've been attempting to make more networking uh, peers, and it has been a huge help. Everybody is extremely helpful, especially in that front. Everybody's in the same boat. Everybody's trying to figure out where they're going to fit into the niche, especially for the film program. Um, and so communication is really important, and everybody's helping each other out quite a lot. We work on two projects over the course of the semester. The first one is before the break that we have, for, so for this case it's before spring break, and the second one's afterwards. Um, and even though it's the first project I've worked on, I've talked to some people that are study abroad here um, and about their experiences with their film programs back stateside, and their one complaint with their film programs back stateside is that they don't get a lot of hands-on, working with the camera, being able to film their own things, building up that portfolio. It's a lot of learning things from the textbook um, and not really putting any of it to practice. So from that perspective, I know that I'm getting a much better hands-on experience with the film program here, um, but also as somebody who is up until a week ago has never filmed something before, um, it's, it's very easy to understand and very hands-on and very, uh, it's a little bit trial by fire, but I don't think there's anything wrong with that because I would rather learn from my mistakes than never experience something or be able to make the mistake uh, to be able to learn more from it. I was nervous that the, there would be a culture shock in moving. There was less of a culture shock and more, it, it kind of crept up on me. I got really homesick uh, in like the first couple of weeks whenever I got here. It is real. thought it wasn't. I was like, oh, I live four hours away from my family. There's no way homesickness is going to be that bad for me. It was extremely bad. Um, but no, no like gripping fears of moving. Uh, I'm, I'm a pretty calculating person and so I kind of made sure that there weren't any things that were going to scare me too badly give it a chance, come here for a year, do a study abroad program, see if it's something that you enjoy, try to take classes that actually pertain to your degree program, maybe not necessarily the elective credits or something, because something I've noticed about a lot of uh, study abroad students is they come here for the arts classes and stuff and they just are trying to fill out those uh, degrees or those like aspects of their degree. But I, I would say if you're going to come to AUR for just a year, make the most of your time, take the classes that you're going to enjoy. AUR is extremely small and I think that that's a good thing. I, I want to say I know that that's a good thing because being in a military community, all of my high schools, middle schools, all of my previous education experiences have been in very small groups. Um, and there's just something about that, of the ability to talk to other people and actually have really direct lines of communication with your professors, with the administration, with the faculty, um, that just makes it so much easier to find out about things, to get to know other people, to network, like I said before. Um, and I mean, it's almost like, I hate to say you're forced to make friends, but you are forced to make connections with people in the class because of how few there are. Um, and I mean, I had, I mean, it took me maybe like a month to find a good solid group of people that we could study together. We were in clubs together. We, um, they helped me with my film this week actually because uh, I had nobody else to call on and they were there for me. So really it's very quick lifelong friends I feel like are being formed the second you get to AUR. I visited Rome as a tourist before, but living in Rome is an entirely different feeling to being a tourist. Um, I've had extended family come and visit me since starting AUR and all of them want to go and see the Colosseum and the Pantheon and the Trevi Fountain and I want to take them to uh, the Argentina Square 
where there's the cat sanctuary and the old ruins of the Rome Forum. And the, 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 I'd want to go and see all these little like uh, small places. It's the little things that like matter. Like there's a market on Sundays in Porto Portese that I've really enjoyed going to, but nobody knows about whenever they're coming because they're too concerned trying to go to the Colosseum or the Pantheon. And so I, I would say that being a student in Rome is very different than being a tourist just because you have more time to absorb the culture and the f great food and the great experiences that are around Rome outside of the tourist traps, which you don't always get a chance to do whenever you're a tourist or you're just visiting because if you're only here for a week, you're trying to cram as much into it as possible. And unfortunately, it's kind of set up for you to fall into some of those tourist traps. But staying here, there's definitely more opportunities for the freedom of just exploring a city that you've never been in before.